Mountain roads were closed again in Northern California as yet another cold storm moved through the state on Sunday. Rural communities east of Los Angeles are buried under snow, leaving some people there stranded. NBC's Miguel Almaguer shows us how they're making do. These are the conditions in the northern and southern California mountains here in San Bernardino County, just about two hours outside of Los Angeles. We've had feet of snow over the last several days alone. The blizzard like conditions have really been nonstop. And today officials are going to be going door to door to look for people who remain trapped 10 days after this storm really started to do damage. You can see some of the snow drifts behind me in some areas. They're 15 feet high. Authorities say they're now going door to door because many people remain trapped in their homes. Folks are running low on supplies food and medicine. The local grocery store here in Crestline, the, actually the roof collapsed because of the heavy snow. They're using that area now as a distribution center to give out food. Some folks are actually hiking a mile in waist deep snow just to get to those food locations. It's going to be another treacherous day here in Southern and Northern California as we expect more snow later on this week. Folks are trying to dig out and get the help while they can. Back to you. And here's something you probably never heard of. Ski resorts closing because of too much snow in California. Anyway, the latest round of snow in Northern California forced many Sierra ski resorts to close on Sunday. Sierra at Tahoe in Twin Bridges was one of many mountain resorts that was shut down. The heavy snowfall made it difficult for the resorts operations to get up the mountain and prep the area for skiers and snowboarders. And again, this is in California yeah. getting all that snow. It's hard to believe that uh, you get that much snow at a ski resort that it shuts it down. You can't ski. That's what it's there for, right? I know. Can't get to it. It's too tempting. But, big, big uh, trouble. Yeah, it's all about safety there. This morning, with California battered by more winter weather, some communities remain cut off. Up north, the Sierra Nevada blanketed by up to five feet of snow. And in Southern California, emergency crews are working to plow through up to 10 feet, all falling in the past week. And underneath that mound is my Jeep Wrangler, uh, totally buried. Thousands live in the San Bernardino Mountains just east of Los Angeles, where back-to-back -back storms have left roadways blocked, houses buried, and people stranded for days. And now some increasingly desperate residents are running low on supplies. We have neighbors who are panicking. They're without, you know, food, power, heat, medications. The snow even sparking fires, possibly caused by gas leaks. We've had uh, eight working residential structure fires in the greater Lake Arrowhead area, which is not typical. In Crestline, snow collapsed the roof of the only grocery store in town. Its parking lot now a makeshift distribution center. Thank you. Still, many are snowed in and begging for help. I mean, there's nine and ten foot berms alongside these roads. I don't see that improving for a month. Are you good, sir? You got everything? As those still okay. stuck inside lean on neighbors for basic necessities. People like me are trying to get out that can and go deliver food and hike through six feet of snow to these homes that can't get out, these senior citizens that can't dig themselves out. Now with just days before another storm arrives, it's a race to reach these communities still buried in snow. Leave a comment and share this video with your friends. With daily uploads, there will always be a conversation.